Okay guys, so we can see that our problem over here is label each compound as aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic. So the first thing we need to do is look at our three compounds and then look at the criteria for an aromatic compound versus a non-aromatic versus an anti-aromatic. So an aromatic compound is completely cyclical and conjugated with no sp3 hybridized atoms. It's completely planar and satisfies Huckel's rule, which means it has a 4n plus 2 pi electrons. So that could be 4 times 0 plus 2, which would mean 2 pi electrons, or it could be 4 times 1 plus 2, which could be 6 pi electrons, etc., etc. So non-aromatic means that it doesn't satisfy one or more of the first three rules. So 1, 2, or 3 is not satisfied. Anti-aromatic means that it satisfies the first three rules, but it has 4 n pi electrons, so that could be 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 pi electrons, etc, etc. So we look at our first compound, we can see that it's completely cyclical, um, but the first thing that we notice is, is it completely conjugated? And we can see here that this carbon on the top is actually an sp3 hybridized atom. So we can automatically knock out rule number two, which means that it is non-aromatic. So this first compound is non-aromatic. So we go to the second compound. Um, th so we can see that it, it is completely cyclical and it is conjugated. We have alternating double bonds. So we have alternating double bonds all around the ring. There are no sp3 hybridized atoms as well. Um, but it's not a planar molecule. So this is an exception to the rule that this specific eight-membered ring is not a planar molecule. However, we can also see that it does satisfy the 4n pi electron rule. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pi electrons. Therefore, can we say that it is anti-aromatic or non-aromatic? So we can see that it's not planar, so it doesn't satisfy one of the first two rules, but it also does not uh, satisfy the 4n pi electron rule. So a compound would much rather be non-aromatic than anti-aromatic, because anti-aromatic is the most unstable, aromatic is the most stable, and non-aromatic is in between. Therefore, we can also say that the second molecule is also non-aromatic. So now we go to the third molecule, we can see that this is completely cyclical, it is conjugated, there are alternating double bonds all around the ring. Is it planar? We can assume that it is a planar molecule. Does it satisfy Huckel's rule? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pi electrons. Therefore, we can say that this last compound right over here is aromatic.